So I'm just going to take you through Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. This is our little keynote train lesson. Now we do have one um, like this for storytellers that's just slightly more complex, but I'll take you through the little keynotes one. Little keynotes, by the way, are our ages four to five children and storytellers are our age six plus. So they have a train that is coming across the screen. Now this train has saved me in a couple of situations where uh, attention was being diverted and then I could kind of bring their attention back to the screen. We learn this song, so we have, they have a choice. They can either learn the chugga, 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 chugga part of the duet, or they can learn the choo-choo part of the duet. So I'll play both to them. Then I'll give them a little bit of time to practice. And then um, we'll play it as a duet, but I will, um, depending on the class, I'll either play it with them. So I'll ask them which piece, uh, which part they're playing and I'll play the other one, or I'll pair them up um, to play together. Okay, so as you can see, the train's kind of coming in and out, uh, which hopefully gets them um, continuing to look at the screen. The next we have um, the same song. So imagine they've learned the song. It's taken maybe five to seven minutes and we've played a duet. Um, they're now going to think about tempo. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that up there, but it says tempo behind there. And we're going to take them through some different options and then they're going to play using those um, options. So we're going to play it fast, first of all. And what I would do is I would take two children or me and another child to play it fast. Um, and then we do it again. And then the next child can play very slowly. Next child play steady. And then very fast. Okay, so I would probably, knowing the order that the tempos are going to come in, I would probably choose which child to play with. Um, based on who I think would enjoy playing really fast and who I think would enjoy playing really slow. Okay, and then same thing, but with dynamics. Now there have been a couple of times where I've abandoned this slide um, because we've had enough of playing it, but some of the other teachers did use this slide, so I keep it in there. And obviously it's then down to the individual to kind of decide to read the situation, decide that actually, no, they're not, you know, we, I don't think we should play this again or yes, they can keep going. So we're doing dynamics and we go soft, very soft, loud, and very loud. Okay. So again, you can choose who you think would enjoy those. Yes, they do have their little characters, I find. You can know the kids that want to do loud and fast and the kids that want to do quiet and slow. Okay, then we have a challenge. So um, clicking on the, this is finding eight crotchets. So a bit like um, if you've seen the teddy bear lesson, this is an opportunity obviously for them to look at the screen, to have a count, um, do some numeracy, and also to then just um, have a reminder about what these notes mean in terms of the rhythm. So clapping some crotchets and talking about how they last for one beat. Oh, I meant to go back then, wasn't I? So then we'd go back and we'd go to this one. Now this is, um, again, a piece that we would, at this point in the lesson, they need to get up, they need to be dancing around because um, never ever in my in-person lesson do they sit in a, in a, on their piano stool for the whole half an hour. So um, we need to make sure we're planning for things where they can be moving. So this track uh, takes them to a train song that they can, um, we kind of, you know, ran around the room like trains to this track. Then we have, um, Finger numbers, now obviously Bear's got no hands, <laughs> but we're going to help him find his finger numbers and that's just going through what they are. And then if I've got time, I might play a little game, like hold up finger three, hold up finger four, etc. And then the last one, we look at pitch. So which way does the melody go? Does it go up, down, or does it stay the same? This one also goes down, up, and stay the same. And they're all reading, uh, kind of pre-reader notation, so melodic contour. So hopefully they should all know about 
pitch direction. Okay, and then they'll have finished. Doesn't want me to click on the finish. So the finished button should take you to uh, a page. Oh, there we go. That was it. <laughs> but uh, cheers and whoops. I'm not sure why that page isn't working. So that is the chugga chugga choo choo lesson.